As a leading global designer and manufacturer of surgical implants for the extremities, Stryker Foot and Ankle is proud to introduce the Smart Toe 2 Intramedullary Implant System. Specifically designed for interphalangeal fusion, the Smart Toe 2 offers controlled positioning, rotational stability, and dynamic compression across the joint. PIP sizes include 15 mm to 22 mm in both neutral and 10 degrees of flexion. The DIP option is available in 11 mm and 13 mm neutral only. The Smart Toe implant is made of body temperature activated shape memory memometal nitinol. The implant must be stored at 0 degrees Celsius or below for a minimum of 2 hours before implantation and will recover its shape progressively after implantation to conform to patient anatomy. The memometal nitinol is biocompatible. Removal of the implant is at surgeon's discretion. Please refer to the implant removal procedure at the end of the operative technique if removal is indicated or desired. A standard linear or transverse incision is used to expose the PIP joint. Resection of the head of the proximal phalanx should be limited to 2 to 3 millimeters to ensure a successful outcome. Once resected, a 2 millimeter calibrated drill is used to prepare the proximal phalanx. The drill is advanced until the cutting flutes are buried into the proximal phalanx. A stop drill is provided to prepare the middle phalanx. Cartilage is removed and subchondral bone is exposed. T-handle brooches are provided and labeled for the intramedullary canal of the middle phalanx. Use the corresponding brooch based on the size of the smart toe implant being used. An optional brooch for the proximal phalanx may be ordered separately. A final check is done to ensure congruent cuts and adequate preparation has been accomplished. The Smart Toe 2's flat design helps resist rotation for control of the arthrodesis position. The Smart Toe 2 also features dynamic compression. The continuous compression across the joint provides an environment for primary healing. The Smart Toe 2 arrives packaged for proper implantation. This includes an accurate positioning locator option. The position locator ensures accuracy during reduction and ensures proper implant proportioning alignment. Using the provided forceps, the Smart Toe 2 is removed from the blue delivery disc and carefully inserted into the proximal phalanx until the forceps are flush with the proximal phalanx. The forceps are left in place and the middle phalanx is reduced over the Smart Toe. Leave the forceps attached to the smart toe until the middle phalanx is reduced. Once reduced, the forceps are removed and the joint is manually compressed to ensure congruent bone-on-bone -bone contact. Use the supplied position rod to accurately control depth of insertion into the proximal phalanx while reducing the middle phalanx. The position rod is removed once the joint is fully reduced. Hold the toe for one minute to allow for expansion. After the Smart Toe 2 is implanted, it is important to check for adequate correction. If adequate correction is not achieved, a secondary procedure should be implemented. This procedure can range from soft tissue release to a while osteotomy. During the while osteotomy, a linear cut is performed into the metatarsal head. The head of the metatarsal is repositioned proximally and fixated with one or two screws. Screw sizes can range from a 2.0 to a 2.5 millimeter. The Smart Toe 2 system also features the new DIP implant. The DIP implant is available in 11 millimeter and 13 millimeter size options in a neutral angle. To learn more about these or other Stryker foot and ankle products, contact your Stryker representative or visit Stryker.com.